So today, y'all are about to be happy because we are making fried chicken. What? Yes, yes, you heard that right. We're making fried chicken. And guess what we're using? Oyster mushrooms. I did wash them and I marinated them. So they are in here and they've been marinating since yesterday. They've been marinating for about 24 hours. And my marinade consists of, don't judge me, unsweetened almond milk so original unsweetened like I told you guys before um, hot sauce I really didn't measure I put in what I like I did onion powder garlic powder pepper and vegan ranch now this is very important because if you don't marinate it first it can have like a snapback almost like a rubber band type texture and we don't want that we want crispy on the outside juicy on the inside right so you don't have to marinate overnight. I would suggest at least five hours, four to five hours of marinating. Is that even marinating? Yeah, it's worth <laughs> So I have some flour here, but I'm gonna get my Tony's, some garlic salt. Let's do some black pepper. And this is our flour mixture for our fried chicken, okay? Okay, so my oil is completely heated. And I'm gonna put an apron on because I don't wanna get burned. Just grab a mushroom, and we're just gonna add a few of them to the bag. Okay, coat it really well. So I'm just gonna put some gloves on because I don't like my hands nasty, and I'm gonna make sure that the mushrooms are thoroughly, thoroughly covered and flour. Don't overcrowd the pan or the fryer. And I kind of like to squeeze them in the flour a little bit just to make sure that all the liquid is getting absorbed by the flour. So you're going to let them cook until they are a golden brown. Make sure as you add it to the mixture, you're tossing it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Y'all, this is messy. I don't like it. So, if you have any fried chicken left over, the next morning, if you want, you can heat it up in either an air fryer or the oven on broil for about four or five minutes. And you can do chicken and waffles. Yeah. I have a bomb waffle recipe too for y'all. But that's not for this video. You will have to watch the next one, boo boo. And let's take out our already done chicken. Oh. <laughs> Put that in there. You better fry. Shoot, you better. Hmm. When you take the chicken out, just sprinkle it with a little bit more seasoning. Just for added flavor. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn the ones that are in here. Ooh, y'all. Oh my goodness. Let's add these back to the flour. You almost made it. Good job, I'm so proud of you. You almost made it. I wonder how many of y'all cook along with me. I never could do that. Like when I would look up recipes, I can never follow along. I would literally watch the videos and then write down all the steps. And I would kind of watch the video as I cooked, but I never really just followed them because nine times out of 10, if I'm making someone else's recipe, I'm changing some stuff in it. Like nothing against their recipe, it's just, I change things according to my family and, and my um, taste buds. Don't lie. 
Let's check on or turn our chicken in here again. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. It is so good. The flavor is bomb AF. We're almost done. Almost done. Mm. I didn't want y'all to know I was ratchet. Now I regret it. Let's check on our chicken. Ooh. Almost. I wanted a little bit darker. Team dark skin. Chicken. I don't know. I don't know what's cool anymore. Because apparently, according to my children, I'm old. That's really rude, now that I think about it. Why would they say that? <laughs> Fresh out of the oil, sprinkle extra seasoning on them. I know YouTubers say it all the time, but if y'all make this, I want to know. Please tell me how you liked it, because I know y'all are gonna be like, Brittany, what in the sorcery did you do? Okay, y'all, so it is done. My chicken is done. Man, this chicken gonna be off the chain. Y'all see that? Ooh, yes, yes. Mmm. Y'all hear that crunch? Oh my God, this is so good. This is how the inside looks. That's mushroom. I'm about to let y'all hear this crunch though. Mm hmm Oh yes. Please, please, please try this recipe. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm hmm baby, baby. Okay guys, so there it is. There is my vegan fried chicken using oyster mushrooms. Y'all, I forgot my red potatoes. Hold please. <laughs> oh, let me take it down. I really wanna take it down. So I made you guys my fried chicken using oyster mushrooms. Y'all, all this food is so good and you're not missing out on anything. You still get that taste, that texture, the crunchiness of the fried chicken without using actual chicken. Like that is amazing in itself. And I still can't believe how amazing and similar it tastes without having to actually eat the chicken. Poor little guys. But yeah, you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you want to get alerts whenever Fine Apple Vegan uploads a video, just click on the notification icon next to the subscription box, okay? You guys, I really hope you like this video. And if you do try it out or make it, please let me know, okay? I wanna know, I wanna see what you thought, I wanna hear your opinions on it, and if you make any changes, I wanna hear about them as well. Thank you so much, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.